<laughs> You're going to? We can put it in a pile. <laughs> there we go, that's fine. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, go ahead, Andre. Good afternoon. Uh, you need a spelling of a name or anything? I got it. Okay. Um, I'm here to uh, report uh, this, this afternoon that uh, JSO, we have arrested one of our employees um, this morning between 8 and 9 a.m. We arrested Jackie Lynn Carnival, a six and a half year employee with the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office. Um, her uh, job specifically is she is called a PICO, which is a police emergencies communications officer. She is a civilian employee, works in our comm center, communication center. Um, she has been charged with uh, uh, one count of um, purchase of illegal substance or narcotics, um, which is, her, in her case, a second-degree felony. Um, this investigation was conducted by our Special Investigation Integrity Unit. Um, it entailed a complaint that had come in uh, a short time ago, um, not in the last couple days in reference to that this employee possibly was purchasing narcotics illegally, um, illegal substances. Uh, they uh, set up and developed an operation plan and did a covert operation and this morning um, with the help of a confidential informant sold the narcotics to our employee. Um, there was an immediate takedown. Um, she was taken into custody without incident. And uh, shortly thereafter, the interview and her, uh, the administrative process, she resigned her employment with the sheriff's office. So um, I think your concise, or her concise history is being uh, provided to you guys uh, and lady um, by our PIO. So I'll take a few questions. Any questions? Uh, Joe Duraski, with Times Union. Um, did you say what kind of drugs they were? She was, uh, it was 40 milligram oxycontin. What do you first get? Did she have some sort of injury in the past that caused her to get addicted to these drugs or anything? You know anything of that? I wouldn't want to comment on her any any injury in reference to medical issues involving her. Okay, uh, Joe Duraskovich, the uh, tip that came in was it another employee that uh, tipped off? Uh, it was a, it was a uh, confidential uh, so outside the anonymous agency. tip. Yeah. Funny, our first person is how many grams? Forty oh. milligrams. Forty milligrams. Forty milligram. Put that in context. Then back to action news. Put that in context. How much is that? Is that a lot? A little? It, it, it kind of depends. Um, you can, depending upon it's, it's one tablet, but oxycotton come in 40, 60, 80 milligram tablets unless they discontinued the 80. Forgive me, I've been out of narcotics for, for a few years. Um, but to keep that, if, if you've ever gone to the doctor and he's given you like a Laura tab or something like that, the milligrams of those of a hydrocodone or an oxycodone base are 2.5, 5, 7.5, and 10 milligram tablets, so put that in perspective. So this is one tablet? One tablet. Any reason to believe there are more instances, other tablets? Uh, Absolutely, in, refer in, the, in the complaint, and the, the deal was originally for multiple tablets, but she only had the funds to purchase the one at this time. Any other questions? Uh, yeah, can you say where this uh, the drug deal went down? Was it? Uh, uh, it was in the driveway of a residence. It was not her residence. No, it was not. Was she? Um, and then the takedown occurred during a traffic stop shortly thereafter. Okay. As a civilian, does she have any other? What, what was exactly? She, what was she doing with the public? Was she taking nine one one calls or what? She would be taking calls from police service. Yes. So dispatch. It's, it's in our communication center, which you've got receiving officers that receive the calls, dispatching officers that dispatch the calls. She would be in one of those two capacities. So taking calls from the public, making Take a 911 one call, and dispatching. 911 or non-emergency, or dispatching calls to the units, the, the patrol units. Any other questions? All right. Thank you. Thank you very much.